So today we're at Oddball Pets and Aquariums and the wife's trying to ruin the video. <laughs> Today's video is absolutely sick. It's about a aquarium store we went to about two or three weeks ago. So apologies. Oh, let me just put you down there. There you go. Apologies for not getting you the footage sooner, but as you can tell from down there, it's a pretty long video, so it took me a while to edit. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it and enjoy. So welcome to another video, guys. This is Oddball Pets and Aquariums in Pittsburgh, PA, and this is the store goods front with everything that you, you'll ever need for salt water and fresh water tanks, including filters, food, and all that kind of stuff. While I were there, they were also just preparing this tank, which is going to look really cool. And this tank is also on the front desk, which is a 10 gallon little planted tank. And this is absolutely awesome. Obviously it's a very simple skate with just a rock and a piece of driftwood, but there's some shrimp in here. And the carpet of the Monte Carlo, I believe, is just unbelievable. And it's almost covering the whole entire bottom of the 10 gallon tank. And as you can see from this little clip, it's also purling, which is really really cool and on a quick side note i really love the monte carlo that they're using in here so a quick question has anyone ever had success with monte carlo just using a nutrient rich substrate and not co2 leave it in the comments and thanks for the help in advance near the front desk they also have this salt water tank with some corals and maybe four or five fish in there and i believe this tank were a 120 but now let's take a look at the sales tanks. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of them. So let's start off by looking at the fish for community tanks. And I'll stop at some tanks that really take my eye with some really, really cool fish in there like Cardinal Tetras, Neon Tetras, Rasboras, that kind of thing. So how awesome is this tank? 325 gallon, scaped, tons of plants in there. Sadly that epistogram is looking pretty old, but the rest of the fish are just absolutely awesome. Discus, angel fish, and this tank is definitely one of the best show tanks I've ever seen in a pet store. Absolutely awesome. So after seeing that beauty, let's continue with the rest of the community fish. Including these pretty neat killifish.
So after seeing all the community fish on offer, let's now take a look at the plants, which they had an absolute boatload of, including micro swords, Monte Carlo down there, some nice little plecos grazing on some leaves, some Ludwigia, massive pieces of jungle vel for only 199, absolute bargain, and all the rest of these guys. And after going through this video, I really wish I would have got some of that Trident Java fern. That just looks awesome. And the Amazon swords look pretty damn good too. Really, really big and healthy. So now we're on the back wall of the shop and this just looks to be some random fish. Got some angelfish grow out, some big bad angelfish that still were decently priced. Some more there. And there. So yeah, they have a lot of angelfish. So if you like angelfish, this is your place. And then right next to them, we've got a huge tank that I would think they'd probably be doing a reef set up in that. And then there's a the saltwater section. But for the vast majority of my viewers, here's the African cichlid section. Yeah, what? Well, but then you see little fish like that, and you might have to get one. They are cool. And this right here is the African cichlid show tank of the store, which is unbelievable. Some of the fish in here are awesome. Oh, and there's a little sneaky front hoser in there as well. We've got some really, really nice haps in there, including that beast red empress, a little ruby red there, and then this guy. I believe it's like a strain of a dragon blood that they've been getting in that's called a ruby crystal peacock and one of the employees told me that that guy was from one of their deliveries that they got and they put him in there and two years later is looking like that so uh yeah um we we obviously got one it's a problem i know and as you heard the wife in the last little clip i thought you were getting rid of fish and yeah you always plant her but then you go to fish stores and you see things like that and yeah you end up you end up buying fish it's a it's an issue i think we all deal with it but never mind anyway we got a young little juvenile of those but yeah some of these some of these boys in here are absolutely awesome really really nice fish 
and I'm actually really digging the scape. I usually do minimalistic tanks with not too much rock, not really stacking, but this one's really neat. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed walking around this store and buying a few things from it. If you're ever in Pittsburgh, PA, make sure you visit it. Oddball Pets and Aquariums, I believe it's southeast of the city, but not by, not by much. Here's a little look at the rest of the saltwater section. And firstly, thanks for tuning into this video. Hope you've enjoyed the tour and seen some pretty cool fish. I know I thoroughly enjoyed looking around. And if you want to see more store tour videos, my personal aquarium videos, hints and tip videos and all that good stuff, make sure you hit that sub button, click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of every single video I put out and you won't miss one. And be sure to do that now, like click it right now because the next video is going to be a banger. That was really good. Uh -huh. See you on the next one.